Good morning, it's Sean from the Driver's Perspective again, and it's another two-wheeled edition motorcycle vlog. I'm headed up to Julian and Banner Grade with my buddy Mitch again. Just wanted to get out for another Sunday ride. I had the free time, so I want to capitalize on it while I have it. And the rest of the day, we'll just see where the bikes take us. Hope you enjoy. I certainly love the views as you ride out farther east heading into Julian this way. It's this really cool rocky landscape with the clouds hanging low. This is the stuff I love coming out on the bike. That in the air smells just a little bit fresher than in the city. And that's my old FC09 right there. Looking pretty good. I am planning a 48 hour motorcycle getaway with Mitch here. And we are going to ride up to Big Bear and ride the Rim of the World Highway. I think that's what that road is called. Grab an Airbnb up there and just have a fun weekend adventure on the motorcycles. I definitely plan on filming that and bringing everybody along for that adventure. That should be a lot of fun. Today we're taking a different route into Julian. We're going up the, well we came up the 125 to the 67 and now we're cutting through Lakeside going into Julian. We'll drop into Santa Isabel earlier on. Oh, poor little raccoon. Um, we're going to drop into Santa Isabel by Dudley's Bakery. That's a famous bakery here. They have really good apple pie and sandwiches and all that. We'll head up to Banner Grade and probably ride south in a very similar route as to our last ride. Uh, Sunrise Highway is just too much fun to pass up. Nice flowing roads. Banner Grade is a tighter road, so uh, that's what you got to be really careful on. Take it easy there. There's a couple gotcha corners, so if you've never been up here and it's your first time riding it, or if it's your second or third or fourth or fifth time riding it, it's always good to remember to keep your wits about you on that road. It is a serious one. This is a great little section of road on the outskirts of Ramona, right as you start heading into Julian. Although with the sun, it is really hard to read the road and see what's on it, so take a little easy and just warm it up too haven't been riding all morning got to get the you know, the riding brain working again it's like a muscle you know I love this view as you come down into the valley you can see all the farmlands we haven't had much rain this year so it's actually really barren wow in previous years, you'd come out here and these fields would be just full of flowers. It's kind of crazy right now. Another drought season, I guess. Oh yeah, up here, that's Dudley's Bakery. Worth a stop if you uh, enjoy pie or sandwiches or anything of that sort. And I think we're going to get a little gas here. I got half a tank. And go from there. Well, maybe not. I don't think there's a gas station up here. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, there is. Eh, we'll be fine. So I guess this would be the climb into Julian from the west side of the mountain. Instead of coming from the south from the eight. So here we are in downtown Julian. This is a amazing, amazing place to come on the weekend. There's just so much to do. Excellent diners and all sorts of stuff. This obviously is the place to be. Do you think we'll stop up here for some gas just to make sure we have enough and use the restroom and get to Vanner Grade?
But we might be foiled by road work. I hope not. Yeah, it looks like it's just on the side of the road here. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I think we're good. So this is leading into Banner Grade. Uh, this is one of the more technical and tight roads out here. Um, at least that's my recollection of it. Um, I drove out here pretty recently to go camping in Anza Borrego um, and thought, you know, I gotta come back on the motorcycle. And you'll see it's already uh, starting to get twisty. So I'm going to just shut up and enjoy the ride and we'll chat at lunch. We're headed back into Julian here. Time to grab a bite to eat. No idea where we're going. It's 11. I could go for breakfast or lunch. Don't know what I want more. <laughs> so let's go figure it out and we'll see you in a second. What'd you think, Mitch? Thought it was pretty good. Yep. It was a really nice ride out here. Pretty much no traffic. Yeah, we get lucky on a lot of those roads. No traffic yeah. on, except on the return trip except in. on the way back, but in that straightaway, I think I was out towards Anza Borrego. Oh, you're doing simulated speeds? Yeah, that was... That's some good simulated nice. speeds out yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we are going to grab lunch and figure this out, because I'm hungry. Our bellies are full, and it's time to head south towards Cuyamaca and start heading home. Weather has been astounding today. Absolutely astounding. 77 degrees now, so it warmed up real nice. This is like a perfect spring day up here. I absolutely need to figure out this camera situation though, because having it on the side of the helmet like this really ends up straining your neck if you ride most of the day really pulls it off to the side like that so if you have any suggestions for what camera I should get uh, leave me a comment below I've been thinking about getting a GoPro 
session, although I loathe the idea of getting another GoPro. The form factor is hard to beat for sticking it on the chin bar, so eh, I'll try it again. I heard that they have external mics for those now too, which will be nice. Um, but I will miss the one-touch slide operation of this bullet cam that I have. Up here, we're turning onto the Sunrise Highway, a very regular part of our routes. Love this openness here. So for those of you who watched the last video, this will look very familiar. It's a favorite place of mine, so you'll have to deal. <laughs> Interesting facts, it dropped 10 degrees heading this direction. About 77 in downtown Julian, and it's about 68 degrees up here. Oh, another, I guess, PSA we'll call it in this video is uh, get your motorcycle suspension set up. On the Rider's Domain, which is a cool YouTube channel, they had an interview series with Dave Moss, and Dave Moss is uh, been in the motorcycle world a while and he's really big on suspension tuning he goes to racetracks and um, sets up like a, a tent and he'll set up people's motorcycles for them as uh, as they go about the track and help them work through a lot of uh, handling issues and he uh, and during this interview he just reiterated more and more how important it is and I, I gotta agree um, the first thing I did when I got this motorcycle is I took it to my suspension guy. And do we get it right the first time? No, absolutely not. Uh, you know, every rider is different, every bike is different, and you have to spend the time to get the bike dialed in how you want it, but do it. It makes the bike safer to ride when it reacts the way you want it to, and it makes it just more fun. Um, you know, I'd still like to refine a few things on the Triumph, but it's so much better than it was out of the box. And, and not that it's bad out of the box, but if you don't take the time to do that and really consider how is the bike handling, why is it handling that way, and make adjustments to that, you're gonna end up in a dangerous situation because at some point you'll be riding the bike going, well, it's not reacting how I want, and then panic sets in, and sometimes that's when crashes happen. So take the time it's worth the 40 bucks it's worth a couple trips ride it around have it adjusted come back come back with more notes i guarantee you it's not going to be perfect the first time you do it i know it wasn't for me um it never is especially on a new motorcycle you don't have a lot of hours riding you know i've only got i, I don't even think i have 100 hours of riding on this bike and that's really when things start clicking you got to hit that 100 hour mark um it's just just how it is so there's no avoiding uh, just getting good old-fashioned seat time either. Get your bike set up and just keep on riding it and tweaking it and make it your own. That's part of bike ownership, right? the ride thanks for joining next week I will be go-karting 
And after that, it'll be two autocrosses. Till the next time, I'm Sean with The Driver's Perspective. Oh, my God.